Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you this very long term chart of the 30 year Treasury bond. And the reason that I'm doing it is because uh, there are some very interesting changes that take place. First of all, bond markets tend to trend for very long periods of time. This chart goes all the way back to the late 1970s. This area right here at the bottom where I started this line is the second quarter of 1981. As you can see, we stayed within these channels up until this quarter, which was the third quarter of 16. So the only time we've really been outside this was the first and second quarter of 2016. I want to point out a couple of very interesting things that I've noticed. First of all, this purple line, open interest, as prices rise, it tends to rise over a period of the late 1980s all the way to this peak in the fourth quarter of 1998. As the price moved higher, so did the open interest that represented long buying. When we topped out in here in the area of about 135 and came down for six quarters, you'll notice that the open interest also continued down, as did the volume. The reason that I'm pointing this out, and again here for this period, we have the same basic pattern. What changes is the period right here which was the fourth quarter of 2014, where we moved substantially higher. However, as we were moving higher, open interest was dropping, which is to say most technicians would tell you that this was short covering. Decrease in open interest, rising prices. We started back up again, and most recently, for the last two and a half quarters, we've been coming down, and so has the open interest. This represents long liquidation. It looks as if this 40-year bull market may, in fact, be ending. Um, however, I personally am not so sure because uh, after we get this growth spurt, uh, as we as the economy starts to slow down, uh, we may see after the rise in interest rates, the need for the Fed to change its position and be able to stimulate the market. What looks like an area of support to me is in this 129 to 130 area, but the bottom of the channel actually doesn't come in until about 127, 128. These are really substantial moves for the 30-year bond. Have a good evening.